Hey you! How are you? Honey Magpie! Yes! Yes I am! Today, I want to show you a really really cool thing! Uh, that is long overdue, since I disappeared for a while. This is the Muson. You probably... Some of you know what it is. It's a toy synthesizer thingy that is very very cool. I have a video on it. Uh, it always pops up on places such as Instagram and like cool Like cool, coolest things from whenever in the city R Cool rare synthesizers It should be on a list of not worth it whatsoever uh, synth toys Because <laughs> it's really expensive The way it works is uh, you have these keys that you can play but you also have these rainbow beautiful color pegs that is like a sequencer and and I when I did the video with this one I claimed that uh, these were just connecting points because I'm silly I don't remember now anything from like a week ago but I do think that I tried like switching places on them without noticing that there was a difference and it, maybe that's because I did it with all of them or something I don't know, I don't need to make up excuses In any case, as you can see now it's just playing the first four ones so if I take a blue and I put it there or I take purple and I put it there it's different These have resistance on the inside then uh, Meaning that the tone is in these like, like the pitch So I made a prototype <laughs> Looking like this Which is just a potentiometer and two amazing legs So to circuit bend it we you just need to make new ones like this with a knob on it so you can put in whichever pitch you want I do not have a 3d printer but I have a great friend named JV Otto link in the description he's got an amazing YouTube channel actually he's a really smart person and I got him to make this for me. I even took like cool measurements. I have pictures of that. So pretty cool. And he, he could 3D print and he could make these. Which is so cool. Pretty similar looking, but with knobs on them. So we can actually use this. I think it's really, really dope. Uh, to hack something like this in this manner to really try and make something as ridiculously useless as this one actually is even though it's cooler looking and people love to see it on a picture uh, but it's really unusable kinda the idea is to be able to have all of these inserted at all times and then just put in the pitch for like all the different ones. So let's do that and record like a melody or something. Baseline would be kind of cool because you can go pretty low now. I think I'm gonna go with every other like this. So it's like uh, five four because it's five of those. Let's see how it sounds if we record it. Ah, latency and stuff. Weird in my head! Like it's, it's, it's not beautiful by any means. But we can do something really weird with it. Add a tiny bit of drums to it before we play around more. Because uh, if you know me, you know I always go very early with the drums. But it's a really fun way to start. We need 
game of context for it. We need like chords and stuff. <laughs> Medieval. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Let's uh, play some uh, U bass. Oh, can I get a? Can I get an angle? I don't know, man. That's that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, should I have my bassist? <laughs> Where's my bassist when I need him? So hip hop. So weird! <laughs> really hard thinking. <laughs> shaker! Koskin Korva vodka shaker with cat litter box sand in it, maybe though. Maybe if I uh, add a bit of piano, maybe? I mean, I have a hard time thinking that we can benefit more from this one. Maybe. If you're working with toys from the 70s, you need VSTs or, or paddles or something. Ride. I actually have a really dope idea on what to do now. But I think I want to do that in another video because it's something that I, <laughs> I want to talk about and I don't want it to get mangled up together with what we did now. But we have sounds from this one, so I say mission success. I would have never ever done this. I would have especially not started in 5-4, I think, if it wasn't for what we did now. So, nice! Uh, it's actually funny enough on the toy album that I released super recently, when this video is posted. So if you check the date, if this is in the future, then you know that just before this, I released an album where I work with all of these toy instruments, like a ton of toys. So it doesn't matter what I did, cause I did it. So go check that album out. It's a pretty dope album in my own opinion, but of course I'm biased because I made it. Uh, so let me know what you think. Links are in the description. Don't forget to check out JW Otto as well. Also, Crispy, if you are watching this, Crispy is JW Otto. Crispy is his Minecraft name. Should we play some Minecraft together? We got a really dope base now on the Magpie Pirate server. And if any one of you want to play with me and JW Otto, join the Discord and uh, reach out in the Minecraft thread 
to get the, into the the server where I play. Uh, so yeah, let's fade out. Actually, I might want to do more posters. Uh, so much for ending. Oh!